Popcorn. This way, folks, to the grandstand. The big show is just about to start. turned out to see me. <laughs> you will now witness a spectacular ride by the youngest Bronco Buster in the world, Elmer Peabody. He will be assisted by Lullaby Johnson. Watch this ride close, folks. Elmer's out after a record. You think you can handle him, Elmer? Sure, it's a cinch. Not nervous, are you? Lullaby, old scout. If anything happens to me, notify my life. I'll leave everything to her. All set, Elmer? Let her butt. Championship right in the midst, and you had to butt in. Well, Elmer, I was only trying to help you. Yeah, looks like you've been drinking instead of me. Hey, Lullaby, how much dough you got? Only six dollars. Oh, that's great. But with my buck and a half, that's like seven fifty. Look at this from Tucson. Thousand dollars? Come on, I'll try and put the bee on Colonel Nye. What? A thousand bucks from that old tight one? Don't worry, I know how to handle him. I said no. I'm making a rule never to lend money to performers. But, Colonel, I can pay you back next season. As far as I'm concerned, there won't be any next season. Unless I get an attraction that means something at the box office. Oh, well, you've got me. You? Why, you haven't brought in enough of the gate to feed the horse you just broke. Got an idea. Pay the man. Colonel, would you give a thousand bucks to jam your stands every day? Turn people away? I've got the greatest box office attraction ever seen in a rodeo. Where? Where is it? Right here in my fist. Look. Those articles have been running about that wild horse for months. Millions of people have read about Cyclone. They'll pay plenty of dough to see him. Hank, did you ever hear of this horse Cyclone? Sure have, Colonel. He's so well-known that they even named a brand of whiskey after him. 
suppose he'd mean anything to us at the box office? Mean anything? Say, if we had Cyclone on our show, we couldn't take care of the crowd. Hmm. Uh, what makes you think you could deliver him? He runs wild in the Mesquite Mesa. That's right next to our home ranch. Yeah, we've seen him a lot of times. And you capture Cyclone and have him back here before the show reopens? <laughs> it's a cinch. All right, bring him in and the thousand dollars is yours. Oh, well, now, wait a minute, Colonel. We need the money now. We'll guarantee delivery of the horse to you. No, nothing doing. I'll pay on delivery. Oh, all right, what are we wasting our time here for? We'll sell him to a live rodeo and get some real dough. Wait a minute. Johnny, give me a thousand dollars. All right, Stoney, I'll take a chance. Oh, Colonel, you're not taking a chance. You can trust me. Yeah, but I'm not trusting you. I'm going along to see that I get my money's worth. We leave tomorrow as soon as the show closes. All right, you better bring some of the other boys with you. We can use them. Well, if I let's get this money wired to Tucson.
Ron, I'm glad you're seeing things my way. Your way? Well, the only reason I roped Cyclone was to keep him from caving in that thick skull of yours. Oh, my mistake. Well, thanks, anyway. You couldn't do anything so heartless. I'm the heartless brute, miss. This is Stony Brook, Miss Hartley. Well, the artists. They have admired your sketches. I suppose they gave you the idea of capturing Cyclone. I see now I never should have made them. Keep that rope tight. <laughs> Hold it. Oh, Mr. Brook, you mustn't do this. You... Oh, can't you make him understand, Tucson? Alice thinks a lot of Cyclone. He's a model. Well, it isn't that. It's, well, it's just that I've watched him day after day, leading his herd and protecting them. If you could only see him with the coat. He's so wise and gentle. That's what he's meant for. That's where he belongs. Not in a crowded, dusty rodeo. Or being cooped up like that would break his heart. Won't you set him free? Well, seeing that you feel so strongly about it, I'll try. Thank you. Yippee! Come on, get these slack, fellas. Hold it. Hold it. Well, what do you think of it? Oh, great. Looks like a swell investment. Uh-huh. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Well, you know, I'd hate to think that I'd given you a bum steer. You know, these flashy babies sometimes turn out to be duds when you get them in an arena. Yeah? Say, what are you driving at? Well, I was just thinking. To protect your investment, it might be a good idea to put a saddle on him now and let me try him out. After all, if you can throw me, you know he's a champ. And if you do ride him, I'm out a thousand bucks. No, I was coming to that. If I ride him, you can still get your dough back from Tucson. He'll take him off your hands. Well, how about it? Fair enough. All right, go ahead. Hank, put a saddle on Cyclone. You really think you can ride him? Think it. I know it. It's been a long time since any horse has made me eat dirt. I want to see him, Dad. 
He's probably broken his heart by now. It takes more than rodeo life to break cyclone spirit, Alice. Fill out your entry blanks here, boys. Tomorrow is going to be the last day you'll have a chance to try and ride cyclone and win that $2,000 grand prize. Number three, Jim. Only got five entries so far to ride cyclone tomorrow. The local boys must be getting tired of being thrown. Don't blame them a bit. <laughs> yeah. Number one. I was hoping I'd get a chance to cyclone after he was all in from piling the other riders. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's two songs. Hello, you old ground hog. How are you? Hello, lullaby. How are you, Stoney? You starting up to ride cyclone? Yep. Somebody's got to do it before you completely slug Nutty from being thrown. Tucson, we're forming a little club called the League of Fallen Men. I guess by tomorrow you'll be a member. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Jim. I reckon you'll be out of luck, Tony. I get a chance to cyclone before you do. Stay in town tonight, Tucson? Yeah. Good. Then we can all have dinner together. Sorry, but I've got a date with the lady. Well, I guess it's about time we came home to look after you. <laughs> uh, excuse me, boys. I'll see you later. Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Brooks. Nice to see you again. Thanks. Your scars are broken bones. I'm surprised. Oh, <laughs> well, the scars don't show. Oh. Have you seen your son? Uh, yes. You had an engagement with him tonight, didn't mm -hmm. you? Well, uh, he wanted me to look you up and explain to you that he was going to be busy this evening. You know, unexpected business. Oh, Dad's tied up, too. Well, that's fine. I mean, I'd be glad to substitute for him. How about it? All right. Well, I know a nice little place just out of town. She promised to meet me here. Maybe she thought you said the other end. A sheep herder. Oh, that made it tough on him. But it didn't keep them apart. When they first met, they fell for each other, right? 
right? You know, I've always thought that sort of thing was the bunker. But it does happen, doesn't it? Right. And I made up my mind to dislike you. Good ride, son. <laughs> but not good enough. Reckon you'll do better. Thanks. Great ride. Come over to the office and I'll give you the check. No, sir. I'll take Cyclone. Can you imagine that? Turning down two grand? It must be crazy. Well, I won't go back on my word, but frankly, I hate to lose him. He's still a big box office bet. I tell you what I'll do. I'll double the purse. No, Cyclone's through with rodeo. We both are, in fact. You're leaving? Yep. Cyclone and I made our farewell appearance today. But why? Well, other plans. Come on, fellas. That was sure a bright stunt, letting Stoney get away Cyclone. He's never been defeated in any big rodeo, and he's still worth plenty of dough at the box office. I know what I'm doing, Hank. Come over to the office. I lie, lie and Behind the stubborn steel, oh, pal. Go be long a 
Cyclone here to run loose without people being able to tell just who he belongs to. Your generosity is liable to get you down, Hank. The only brand going on Cyclone is Hartley's. Yeah? Yeah. Jim, get their guns and tie them up. <laughs> so you thought you could get the drop on the Musketeers? Don't turn around. I'm no funny stuff. Drop your guns. Keep your hands in the air. Hi, Joe. Cyclone in the morning and put Hartley's brand on him. That'll keep anybody else from trying to steal him. Say, that's a darn good idea. Say, speaking of the Hartley's alibi, I want you to ride over and invite him to the party tonight. Sure, Tucson. Party? Party? What party? What's it all about? Well, you see, there is a reason. I, that is, I hope there'll be. I was planning on celebrating your homecoming and, well, my getting engaged. <laughs> you old fox. Keeping it yourself all the time, huh? Yeah. You're really going to get hit. Ah, oh, that's great. Congratulations. Well, thanks. I'll put you a little bit previous. Uh, I haven't proposed yet. Oh, not so good. Oh, but I've tried dozens of times. I just lose my nerve. Yeah, I know how it is. If you could only propose like you can fight. Say, what you need is a press agent. A what? Somebody to give you a build-up. Tell the girl how great you are, that she's losing the chance of a lifetime if she doesn't go for you. Give me ten minutes with her and she'll jump in your lap and propose to you. Hey, will you do that for me? <laughs> I was only kidding. Oh, but I'm serious. Well, sure, if you really want me to. I... Certainly. If I can't sell them, they can't be sold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but don't spread it on too thick. If you will just sort of pave the way with Alice, then it won't be too tough for me. With who? Why, Alice, Miss Hartley. Why, who did you think I was talking about? Well, I don't know. Well, what's the matter? You like her, don't you? Oh, sure, sure, she's swell, but... I... You gave me a scare. I don't know what I'd do if you and Lullaby didn't approve. Well, don't worry. Say, will you talk to her tonight? Yeah. Thanks.
Hello, Tucson. Glad you came over. Have a good time, Joe, but stay sober. I want you to help me around a cyclone in the morning. Okay. No, I haven't seen Stoning all evening. I wanted to thank him for turning Cyclone loose. Play safe. We're going over to your ranch in the morning and put your brand on him. Then he'll belong to you. Tucson's a mighty fine boy. I know he is, Lullaby. Yep, and he'd make some gal a mighty fine wife. Can he cook? I mean husband. Now, with Stoney, he's different. Not that he ain't one of the best, he sure is. But he's kind of wild. Most young men are. Yeah, but he's got one bad fault. Only one? That's marvelous. Some men have dozens. His trouble is girls. Of course, they kind of make a fuss over it. I think they show very good taste, don't you? Sure. It's getting kind of cold, ain't it? Let's go in. Well, what 
it happen. I couldn't change her mind one mite. Every time I blackened your character, she'd get out the white wall. Well, I'm not sticking around any longer. If Tucson hasn't got brains enough to propose to Alice himself, it's just too bad. Hey, Sonny. Where you been hiding? I got it all fixed for you to dance with Alice. Come on. You're lovely and divine as the early stars that shine on the prairie, my Madonna. Wait here, I'll find her. And the starlight in your face. I was just looking for you. I thought perhaps we could have a dance together. Well, I've been dancing all evening, Stoney. I'd rather just talk with you. Yes, No, Stoney, you're not very practical, turning down $2,000 for a mere horse and then setting him free. <laughs> I think it was grand. Why did you do it? Oh, I don't know. I guess maybe I knew how Cyclone felt being cooped up in a rodeo, wanting to be free. You know, I'm like that, too. Listen, remember that song? Yeah, I remember. You know, we've had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs together. That's why I wanted to see you before I left. Say goodbye and... Thanks. You're going away? Yeah, tonight. Somehow I can't stay cooped up in one place very long. I want to be on the move, seeing new things and new people. I wish I were more like Tucson. He's steady and dependable. He's the kind that wants to settle down and make a home. You know, Alice, the girl that ties up with him is going to know just exactly where she stands. He's in love with you. What a cozy arrangement. Do you always hand over your discarded affairs to your pal? Now, just a minute. Let's get things straight. Tucson's not like me. You're the first girl he's ever looked at. I suppose I should be overwhelmed with gratitude. If you had any sense, you'd know you were darn lucky. Personally, I think he's a sap to want to tie himself down. I'd rather be in jail. Forgotten how decent folks behave. Thanks for the party. Where are you going, Stoney? Heading for the border, Lullaby. I've been wanting to take a good look at Mexico for a long time. Ain't that funny? So have I. You just wait right here and I'll go get my blanket roll. No good, Lullaby. It's a one man expedition. I'll be seeing you. So long, Stormy. Get a hold of Duke Moffat at the airport. Tell him to have a plane ready for me at daylight. You helped catch Cyclone once, Jim. Take the boys and build a corral at the end of the same blind canyon. I'll herd Cyclone and his wild bunch into it. I still can't figure Stoney acting the way he did lullaby. It just ain't like him. But we've been pals for years and he never did pull a stunt like that. Maybe he never had any occasion to. Do you reckon I was too quick on the trigger with him? Why well, ask me? You're old enough to handle your own affairs, ain't you? You're a lot of help. I've been thinking this thing over, and if I'm wrong, I want to find Stoney and tell him so. You saw it. it ever occur to you that Stoney might have been sort of sweet on Alice himself? Why in blazes didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, we got to find that crazy galoot.
Copy, Rand, Colonel. Good. Drop her down, and I'll see if I can stop the horse first. Once they get off the Hartley Ranch, try and get sight one out of the herd. away from the herd. Turn him toward that blind canyon I showed you. Find out she's putting in on us.
Aunt Stone is mixed up in this. Galleries is having a private showing of my pictures, and my agent thought it would be a good idea for me to come on and give some talks about the West. Well, that's great. You know, someday you'll be famous. I hope so. Will you be coming back? Of course. Someday. Look, over there. Look at the darn fool. Proud as punch. Why not? He's won back his family. Yeah, I reckon horses and humans are a heap alike in a lot of ways. You never know when they're well off. 